Welcome back to Bone Wallace, Yellowjacket.com for a little bit of basketball action today. Football played its last game earlier today at 1.30. Today, here for some basketball. Bowden Wallace takes on the Kenwin, Kenyan excuse me, College Owls for both teams' first game of the season. While the Yellow Jackets did play a game against Cleveland State, it was just marked as an exposition game, excuse me, um, so it did not affect their record. They lost 91 to 53, a game that they'd like to forget and a game that thankfully won't be on their record. Ray Ellington led the way, 27 minutes, 20 points, four for six from deep, seven of 14 from the field, two for three from the line. Other than that, no one touched double digits. The next closest score with eight was Andrew Griffith. As we take a look at the starting lineups for each team, Going over the five for Kenyon, it'll be number four, Charlie Haywood. Number 10, Geffen Bar Cohen. Number 14, Jackson Maloney. Number 55, Lucas Friedman. And number seven, Marius Mazika. And for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets, number 22, Ray Ellington. We talked a little bit about him already. Braden Hamilton, number three. Number four, Titus Baskerville, the fourth. AJ Pistello, number 11. And number 23, Isaac Richardson rounding out the number five for the Yellow Jackets. Again, both teams a clean slate to start this year. We take a look at last year's record for the Yellow Jackets. Again, something they would like to forget and make a little bit better this year. Last year, six and 19 in the conference. Just three wins with 15 losses. Trying to improve that and start with an early win here today in Baltimore Wallace against the Kenyan College Owls. 20 minutes set on the clock. The three referees for today, Ruben Davila, Jay McMichael, and Jim Dayton. My name is Spencer Fateri, who will be joining you throughout the season a few times. The home opener for Baldwin Wallace, Yellow Jacket basketball, and the season opener as well. Twenty minutes on the clock. The starters are set. Home opener, season opener, underway. Tip goes to the way of the Yellow Jackets. Baskerville with it at the top of the key. Still at the top of the key. To the left to Hamilton. Looking for Ellington to get it to him. Top of the key, Ellington. Costello drives, kicks, Ellington. Ten on the shot clock. Ellington, step back three from the top of the key. Just off the front rhyme. Rebound goes to Baldwin. Wallace layup up, no good. Another rebound up and good. So the scoring starts off with the Yellow Jackets. Isaac Richardson gets the first two of the game and the Yellow Jackets lead 2-0. Now here come the College Owls. It's Haywood with it at the top of the key. Hand up to Friedman. Stop, free throw line, corner. Driving down the left baseline. Now kicking to the left wing, to the right wing. Right corner. Now resetting at the top of the key is Friedman. He drives, free throw line, five on the shot clock, four, three, Friedman still has it, two, has to throw up a shot, fade away, hook, no good, rebound goes to Baskerville. 18.50 left on the first half clock. It's two nothing in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Move from Baskerville, drives, right baseline, kicks, top of the key, three ball, good. Braden Hamilton, the first three of the game. It's a five nothing lead for the Yellow Jackets. Friedman with it. Across the timeline. Getting hounded by Baskerville. Still with it. Not able to go anywhere. Now to the left wing. Over to Cohen. Cohen still has a left baseline. Spin move. Floater. Good. Geffen Bar Cohen gets the scoring started for the College Owls. And it's a 5-2 affair with 18-15 to go in the first half. Baskerville with it. Left wing. Top of the key. Left alone. Three ball. Good. Titus Baskerville the fourth. Gives himself a three, and it's an 8-2 game with 18 minutes to go in the first half. Across the timeline now is Lucas Friedman. Free throw line, Haywood. Jumper, good. It was number 14, Jackson Maloney. It's an 8-4 ball game. Baskerville brings the ball across the half-court line for the Jackets. 8-4, 17-40 to go. Ellington in the left corner, drives left baseline. 
Still driving, kicks it to the right wing. Taken away by the College Owls, it's Friedman. Up ahead to Cohen. Cohen, right wing corner, Mazika, three ball. No good, front iron. Rebound goes to Richardson. 8-4, 17-20 to go in the first half. Baskerville with it. Over to Richardson, now to Ellington. Corner. Hamilton has one, give him another. It's two straight threes for Braden Hamilton, and it's an 11-4 ball game in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Friedman with it now. Corner to Maloney. He drives right baseline, kicks to the top of the key to Cohen. Cohen looking for Freeman on the key. baseline cut, gets it. Layup is no good. Great defense from Baskerville, and here comes Ellington. Five on four number-wise. Ellington behind the back. Spin move, step back. Slows things down to the top of the key. Driving in is A.J. Pastello, one-on-one. Spin, hook, good. A.J. Pastello gets his two first points of the game, and it's a 13-4 game here in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Freeman off to Haywood. Haywood back to Freeman. They leave Haywood alone. Baseline cut from Cohen. No good. Gets his own rebound, and that is good. Geffen Bar Cohen, he's got four, and it's a 13-6 game with 16-12 to go in the first half. Getting ready to check in number 34, Marton Kosaman for the Owls. Baskerville drives, stops in the paint, kicks to Ellington, deep right wing three, no good. Rebound goes to the Owls. Here comes Friedman pushing the pace across the timeline. Left wing to Cohen. Into the corner to Maloney. Now back to Cohen. He keeps it. Spin move. Right line. Baseline. No good. Rebound goes to Hamilton. 13-6, 15-35 to go in the first half. Braden Hamilton. Two threes already in the game. Looking for a third. Dribbling top of the key. Inside pass to Pastello. Almost loses it. Saves it. And it goes to Mazika of the Owls. Here comes Friedman across the timeline for Kenyon. Open Bar Cohen at the top of the key. They pass to Mazika. And he is tripped up. I think they're going to mark it to number 11, A.J. Pastello. And they do. That'll be Pastello's first foul of the game. 13-6, 15-21. Two subs coming in. We mentioned Maraton, Kosaman, and number 22, Jackson Burke, will also come in for the Kenyan College Owls. 13-6, 15-21 to go in the first half. Inbounded to Kosaman. Freeman with it. Fake, ball's lost, recovered by Kosaman. Fake hook, pulls up the pump. No good, rebound goes to Pastello. 15.05 on the clock. It's 13-6 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Ellington on the right wing. Passes it up, drives right baseline. Floater looking for the foul, no good. Rebound goes to Richardson. Ellington, Pastello, three ball, no good, short. And the rebound will go to Burke of the College Owls. Here comes Freeman across the timeline. 14 45 to go in the first half. It's a 13 6 game in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Kojaman on top. Now to Friedman. Right wing has some space. Passes up the three. Inside to Kojaman. Back to Friedman. Maloney, three ball. No good. Rebound goes to Ellington. Ray Ellington, who had the 20 points against Cleveland State in that exhibition game. Both teams looking for a win here today. 0-0 records for both. Ellington, left wing, drives, baseline, stops, pops, floater, in and out. Rebound goes to Kojaman. Here comes Friedman, over to Maloney. 14.05 left in the first half. It's 13-6 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. More subs set to check in for both teams now. Kojaman at the top of the key. Hand off to Friedman. Get some space. Floater off the right. Good and one. Lucas Friedman gets it to drop and will go to the line to shoot a free throw. 13-8, Yellow Jackets lead by five. Two subs coming in for the Owls, one for the, no, now two for the Yellow Jackets. It'll be number 21, Nick Valentino, and number six, Justin Gagnon, excuse me, for the Owls. As we get a timeout, we'll wait to see who the two substitutes for the Yellow Jackets are. A little game recap. Richardson starts off the scoring. And then three threes after that. Two from Hamilton, one from Baskerville. And then A.J. Pastello. Which gives the Yellow Jackets their 13. Four points go to Geffen Barcohen on the Owls side of things. Uh, 
We apologize for the technical difficulties. The video is now up. It's 13-8, 13-56 to go in the first half. Lucas Friedman just scored his first basket and will go to the line for the and one opportunity. And Jackson Maloney also has two. Giving the College Owls eight. Again, we had some little bit of technical difficulties, but here with technology these days, you're always going to get some kind of difficulty somewhere along the line. 13 8 under 14 minutes. Basketball is back. It's my favorite sport. If you listen to last week's football game, I had the call against Muskingum, and that dominant win for the Yellow Jacket football team. But we are here for some Yellow Jacket basketball, the season opener today for both teams. If you missed the beginning of the broadcast, the Baltimore Walls Yellow Jackets played at Cleveland State in a game that was thankfully just an exposition game. They lost 91-53. Only double digit score was Ray Ellington who had 20. He is the only starter today without any points to start this game. 13-56, it'll be Lucas Friedman at the line for the first free throw of the game. The end one opportunity for Friedman is good. He's got three and it's 13-9, and now number six, six, Justin Gagnon, will check in for Lucas Friedman. The two subs on the side of the Yellow Jackets. We'll wait to see who they were. It's Ellington at the top of the key. Now to the right wing. One-on-one -on -one defender drives, floater, no, kicks out of bounds. It's number 21, Andrew Griffith, and number 24, Caden Hudak are the two subs for the Yellow Jackets, it's 13-9 with 13.43 to go. Here comes Gagnon, up the court, now to the left side. Mazika, left wing, top of the key. Right wing now, looking for space. Great inside cuts, ball is stripped, it will stay with the Owls. Burke was looking down low for Valentino but great defense from the Jackets. It's a 13-9 game with 13.25 to go in this first half. Three on the baseline, one up top. Corner three, no good. It was Gagnon who had it. Here come the Yellow Jackets. Top of the key now. Baskerville, right wing. Had a little bit of space, thought about it, passed it up. It's Miles Reynolds who also checked into the game and they lose the ball in that possession. 13-9, 13 minutes to go in this first half. Gagnon with it. Baskerville closely on him. Great cut. Basket is good from number 21, Nick Valentino. A great backdoor cut from him and it's now a 13-11 lead. Baskerville with it now. One of the only two starters left in the game. That ball tipped. It will stay with the Yellow Jackets. But after going out to a quick hot start, the College Owls of Kenyon are right back in this game, only down two. Get a timeout from the ref. And we will get a sub. It'll be number 14, Jackson Maloney, will come in for number seven, Marius Mazika, the freshman from Lithuania. Just a little bit away from home. Ellington to inbound, 13-11, 12-35 to go. Goes to Hudak and right back to Ellington. Drives right, baseline, floater, tipped. Block, a great block by number 22 of the Owls, Jackson Burke, and he's also fouled on the play. It looks like they're gonna give that to Andrew Griffith, so that'll be his first foul of the game. Two more subs, Baskerville comes out. And Ellington comes out. In comes number five, Luke Driscoll. And alongside him, number 15, Braylon McClarty. 13-11. Gagnon with it. Top of the key. Has some space. Top of the key, Maloney. Three ball, no good. Rebound goes to Luke Driscoll. Driscoll across the timeline. 13-11, 12.05 left. Hudak with it. Now to McClarty. Drives. Spin. Wanted the fade. Passed it up. Now to Reynolds. Reynolds with it one-on-one. -on -one. Top of the key. Hudak. McClarty now. Splits to the defenders. Free throw line. Inside. Trying to go to work. Is Hudak a little reverse layup? 
for Caden Hudak. He's on the board and it's a 15-11 game. That stops the scoring run of the College Owls. 11.35 to go. Post Jaman with it now at the top of the key. Almost picked away. Gagnon with it, right wing. Inside the mismatch, ball tipped, taken away by the Yellow Jackets. It's McClarty with it. 15-11, 11-15 to go. McClarty still has it. Corner to Hudak, has a little bit of space, thought about it, now will pull it. No good, rebound goes to Valentino. And here comes Justin Gagnon. 15-11, 11 minutes left in this first half. And the home opener and season opener for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets free throw line. Stop, pop, kick to the corner to Maloney. Maloney, right wing. Now to the corner. Great move from Valentino. Stop, pop, no good. Rebound goes to what looked to be number 21, Andrew Griffith, but it looks like his elbow came down on the body area of Muraton Kojaman. And they will call a foul on that. So the foul will go against the Yellow Jackets, and we get three new subs for the Owls. Friedman comes back in alongside Maloney, as well as number four, Charlie Haywood, and Mazika is back in the game as well. Haywood with it, hands it off to Friedman. 15 11, 10 35 to go in this first half. Stops. Cohen, floater, drops. Greffin Bar Cohen, he's got six now. And it's a 15-13 game with 10.25 left in this first half. Driscoll with it, top of the key, kicks to Hudak. Ball lost, retained now. It was McClarty who had trouble with it. Over to Reynolds on the right wing, he's top of the key now. Inside, great open look. Has McClarty on the right wing, passed it up, tried to go underneath, it was Richardson, no good. Fast come the Owls, Maloney, layup, no good. Tip back dunk, no good, and great defense by the Jackets, and here comes Reynolds. He'll slow it down with a one on four. Reynolds, stop, Fuller, left wing, good. Miles Reynolds, he's got his first two points of the game, it's 17-13, Mazika comes down fast. Mazika, stop, dribble, drive, and Marius Mazika. He's got his first two, 17-15 with 9.35 left in the first half. Driscoll with it now, picks up his dribble, kicks Richardson, wide open left wing, three, no good. Rebound will go to the Owls of Cohen. Here comes Friedman, down two are the Owls with 9.20 to go, and Friedman will throw, slow things down and draw up a play. Cohen down low to Mazika, tipped away, great defense from McClarty. Still great defense on Mazika. A little floater, no good. And McClarty gets the rebound. Here comes Driscoll, up 17-15, nine minutes to go in the first half. Driscoll, drive, free throw line, passes it up. McClarty, left wing three, wide open, no good. Here comes Freeman, has Mazika down low. Mazika's able to contain it. Down low, layup, foul, no good. Mazika will head to the line for two. 17-15 with 8.45 to go. The foul will go against number 23, Isaac Richardson, his first. Morris Mazika, who already has two on the game, has a chance to tie it up here with two free throws. The first up, good. A.J. Pastella will check back into the game for number 24. Caden Hudak. And Mazika to tie. Good. He's got four, and it's a 17 17 ball game with 8.45 left in the first half. Driscoll with it behind the back. Slows it down just a little bit. Looking for Reynolds on the right wing. Passes it up. Richardson had some space. Also passes it up. Pastello, top of the key, driving. Picks up his dribble. Had to do something. Just a little underhook layup. No good. And I think we're going to get an offensive foul on number 23, Isaac Richardson. That'll be his second. The Owl bench wanted a travel on Pastello. They didn't get it, but it went their way anyways. Ellington will check back into the game with Richardson picking up his second already. And it's a 17-17 ball game with 8.27 to go in this first half. 
Friedman with Driscoll on him. The Owls yet to commit a foul. Cohen with it. Over to the right wing of Mazika. Mazika drives. Still driving on that right baseline. Looking for something, passes it out to Friedman. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Friedman with it. Leave him. Left wing open, two point shot is good for Lucas Friedman. He's got five. And it's a 19 17 game in favor of the Owls, their first lead of the day. Driscoll with it. McClarity, three ball, left wing again. No good. We'll get a foul on the Owls. As Ellington was attempting to get the rebound, Haywood fouled him. So they pick up their first foul of the day. Two subs, three subs, no. Two for the Owls, one for the Jackets. Hamilton comes back in for the Jackets. Kojaman back in for the Owls. As well as Connor Moss for Kenyon. Reynolds with it. Drive, left baseline, floater, fade away, good. Reynolds is good for another two. He's got four and it's a 19-19 game with 7.30 to go in the first half. All tied up here. Friedman with it, kicks it. Kojaman wide open at the top of the key, short. Rebound goes to Braylon, Braden Hamilton. Hamilton will keep it. He's got two threes already, looking for a third. Stops at the free throw line, pull up, no good, short. Pastello grabs the rebound. Great move by Driscoll to be just in the exact spot. And Luke Driscoll scores his first two, and the lead goes right back to the Yellow Jackets. 21-19, seven minutes to go in the first half. Twenty-one, nineteen, seven minutes left in the first half. Kojaman with it. Now to Mazika. Mazika stops deep left wing contested three, no good. Rebound goes to Reynolds. Reynolds across the timeline. Hamilton moving fast along the right baseline, and they'll reset to Ellington, who goes to Reynolds. Thought about the deep left three. Now at the top of the key is Reynolds. Spin to Bastello. Lost it. Retains it. Has to get rid of it. And we're going to get a foul on the floor against Lucas Friedman. Looked like he hit Reynolds in the face. 21 19, 6 28 to go in this first half. Baskerville will check back in alongside the two for the Owls, Valentino and Burke, and we'll get another timeout. 21 19, it was the Jackets who got out to a hot start, but the College Owls of Kenyon have battled back into this one quickly. And the Yellow Jackets lead by two. Hamilton has six two threes. Baskerville has a three. Pastello with two. Richardson with two. Reynolds with four. Hudak with two. And Driscoll with two. And on the side of the Owls, it's Cohen with six. Maloney with two. Friedman with five. Mazzica with four. And Valentino with two. Again, yeah, we took it back, took a look at the Schedule from last year, 6-19, 3-15 in the conference. This is a non-conference game. First game last year for this ball and walls jacket or this ball and walls team was against Washington and Jefferson. Out in Pennsylvania, they play them as their next opponent. Last time they played WJ, 182 was the score in favor of the Yellow Jackets. So one of the six wins for Baldwin Wallace last year, the Yellow Jackets. Then went on a four game losing streak to Geneva trying Penn State Barron at number three at the time last year, John Carroll. And then their conference game of Muskingum as when they stopped the losing streak with a win of 67 to 62. Tom Heil in his 10th year at Baldwin Wallace looking to start off the 2024, 2025 season. Good. 21-19, 6.28 to go. Hamilton inbound, he gets it to Baskerville. Pistello, top of the key, now to Ellington. He's still quiet. Reynolds, top of the key, three ball. No good, but he's fouled on the shot, so Miles Reynolds will go to the line for three shots. He's got four already. It was Connor Moss who picked up the foul. Reynolds felt the presence of Moss there and decided to shoot it and was able to get contact, so Reynolds will go to the line for three. The first one up, been good. He's got five. Second one, good. 
Give Reynolds six now off the bench. Last game against Cleveland State. Only 19 bench points here today already. They've got six, eight, ten. That would have been 11. Ball out of bounds. It will be Kenyon basketball, but the Yellow Jackets are up four with the two made free throws from Miles Reynolds. Only 19 bench points against Cleveland State. And they never led. 23-19, 6-15 to go in this first half of basketball. Friedman with it. Off to Burke. Burke to Kojimon. Back to Friedman on the right wing. Down low, they'll look to work against Hamilton. The mismatch for Kojimon. Right, now left, and Kojimon gets it to go. He's got his first two, and it's a two-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Under six to go. Hamilton thought about the three, drives, right, layup, good, and one, count the baskets. Braden Hamilton's got eight, a chance to make it nine. 25-21, a tough layup from Braden Hamilton with the contact, the junior from Brunswick, Ohio. So the lead is back to four, a chance to make it five as Hamilton, he's the Game scoring high. He's got eights. Make it nine. Two threes and a three point play for Brayden Hamilton. And it's a five point lead in favor of the Yellow Jackets. 26 21. Friedman across the timeline to Kojimon. Who goes back to Friedman on the left wing. Down low again to Kojimon working on Pastello. One on one. Little flip hook. Kojimon no good. Rebound goes to Ellington. Ellington, who had 20 against Cleveland State, still quiet here today, 26-21. Ellington, step back on the right wing, over to Baskerville. Thought about the three drives. And will now slow things down just a bit. Baskerville, space, and we'll get a kick ball on Muraton Kojimon. So it will remain Yellow Jacket basketball, 26-21, 5.09 left in this first half of play. Five oh nine on the clock, Baskerville to inbound. Gets it to Pastello, who hands it right off to Baskerville. Had a little bit of space in the left corner, passed it up. Bakersville drives, kicks, Reynolds, three ball, corner, no good. Rebound goes to Baskerville, he got through the slew of defenders. And Titus Baskerville has his fifth points of the night, and it's now 28-21. Friedman now with it. Wanted Burke down low, wasn't able to get it to him. Valentino with it now. Over to Kojimon, directing traffic. Burke, right wing. Now to the corner of Valentino. Down low they go again to Kojimon, working on Pastello. Spin, layup, blocked, no good. A.J. Pastello says no. Floater from Valentino off the rebound is good. He's got four, and it's 28-23 with 4.20 left in the first half. Baskerville with it. Over to Pastello. Cohen getting ready to check in for the Owls. Baskerville, free throw line. We'll slow things down now to the top of the key. Wide open, Pastello down low. And A.J. Pastello gives another two to himself. He's got four timeout. Kenyon, it's 30-23, to 23, a seven-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Who started out hot at the start of the first half, slowed things down a little bit. Kenyon got back into the game, and now a little bit of a run for the Yellow Jackets. It's 30-23 to 23 with 4.05 left in this first half. The tale of two halves last game against Cleveland State. First half, 11 for 23, 5 for 8 from the field for the Yellow Jackets. They scored 35, Cleveland State scored 43, and then the second half is where things went downhill. 48 points for Cleveland State, 18 for the Yellow Jackets. But again, that was just an exhibition game. It doesn't count against the records. Both teams coming in today with a slate of 0 and 0. And if you're Tom Heil in this Yellow Jackets team, you'd love to start off today with a win. Kenyon basketball. Friedman with it. Baskerville will be guarding him. Four minutes left in the first half. Across the timeline is Friedman. Maloney has some space. Thought about the three. Step back. Maloney, right wing three. No good. Rebound goes to Reynolds. 
Reynolds, who has six in his great game off the bench so far. Reynolds, pull up right wing, three, short. Rebound goes to Valentino. Feeling the hot hand, Friedman with it now. Valentino, Maloney, back to Valentino. And they'll slow things down now. 3.35 left in the first half. Down low to Cohen. He's got six already. Working on Ellington. Cohen inside. Blocked by Ellington. Rebound still goes to the Owls. Friedman. Over to the corner. Maloney had a screen. Popped. No good. Nothing but air. Ellington with it now. 30-23. to 23. Ellington. Dribble. Spin move. What a great move. Up and under. What a move from Ray Ellington to get him started off on the afternoon. 32-23, a nine point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Cohen with it now, spin, contact, left-handed layup, no good, rebound goes to Baskerville. Haywood who checked into the game for the Owls, Baskerville with it. Along the right baseline, floater, no good. Rebound is going to go to the Owls, and it was hit out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets. 32-23 with 2.40 left in the first half. Going back to that beautiful basket from Ray Ellington. Crossover, spin up and under, and it looked like there was contact there, able to get it to fall. 32-23, 2.30 to go. Cohen with it now to Haywood. Mazika, left wing. Looking to work on Hamilton. Drives left baseline, nothing there. Kicks out to Haywood. The corner to Friedman. Friedman drives on Baskerville. Spin. And they're going to get Baskerville with a foul. He thought he got fouled by Friedman on the offensive side of things. But the foul will go against number four, Titus Baskerville. The fourth, his first of the game. 32-23, 217 left. And that will bring up the seventh team foul, which will send Friedman to the line. One and one opportunity for the Owls. Baskerville will check out. That was his second foul, excuse me. There was the foul I missed earlier in the game. So Drew School will take Baskerville's place. 2.15 to go. Friedman, the first free throw, up and good. Lucas Friedman, he's got six on the night now. 32-24. Second one, no good off the back iron, so the lead remains eight. Driscoll will bring the ball up for the Yellow Jackets. Richardson with two, Baskerville with two. Costello over to Reynolds. He's played big minutes here in this first half off the bench. Ellington drives. We're going to get a foul before that. It looks like it's going to go against Mazika. Just kind of shoved Costello. That'll be Marius Mazika's first foul. The fifth team foul against the Kenyan Owls. Inbound to Driscoll. Two minutes left in the first half. 32-24 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Driscoll dancing on Friedman. Right wing. Stops. Kicks to Reynolds. Seven on the shot clock. Reynolds has got to do something with it. Left wing, inside, ball's lost. Here come the Owls, Friedman with it. Over to Cohen, wide open, reverse layup, a beautiful move from Geffen Barco, and he's got eight, and the lead is cut to six. 32-26, a minute and 30 to go in this first half. Driscoll with it. A screen from Pastello, kicks to Ellington. Now to Reynolds. Pastello, top of the key, drives right baseline, picks up his dribble and goes to Ellington. Ten on the shot clock for Ellington. Step back. Hamilton, three ball, left wing, no good. Fighting for the rebound. Below was Haywood and Pastello. Here comes Maloney. Stops and slows things down. A minute and five left on the clock. Down low to Haywood. He's got the little Driscoll on him. Blocked from behind. It goes right into the hands of Haywood, but that's no good as well. A minute on the clock, 32-26. And it's Yellow Jacket basketball. Ellington slowly bringing it across the timeline. Up six. Ellington drives left baseline, spin, stops, kicks. Driscoll with it now. Trying to go to Pastello down low, they don't get it to him. Hamilton with it. Three ball, no good. Another foul, Pastello is pushed down again in that same spot. This time it'll be on Charlie Haywood. 
He picks up his second. Haywood will check out, and Kojaman will check back in. 32-26, the 16 foul. And Pastella will head to the line for a one-and-one -one option, or opportunity, rather. No, he will not. One more foul to get there. I was wondering why he was at the line, and I was thinking maybe I had my fouls mixed up. No. So that's the 16th foul. Next foul will put them in the bonus. 32-26, 36 seconds left on the clock. Inbound goes to Pastello. Still with it now. Left baseline. Defender coming from behind. Doesn't see it. Shook by Friedman. Across to Maloney, and he will slow things down. The Owls can hold for the last shot of the half if they would like. Mazika over to Friedman. 20 seconds left. Friedman, 15 on the clock now. Mazika, Kojaman, under 10. Cohen with it now. Great defense from the Jackets. Five on the clock. Cohen's got to do something with it. Drives on Hamilton. Drives. Spin, fade at the buzzer. No good. And that will be the end of the first half. 32-26 in favor of the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. And what has been a game so far that has looked like all... Baldwin Wallace. Ellington's only got two. Braden Hamilton hit two straight threes to open up the half. And then the and one gives him nine. He leads all scorers. Baskerville has five. Pastello's got four. Richardson with two. He had an early two fouls. Didn't see much of him in the late part of the first half. Reynolds with six. Hudak with two. And Driscoll with two. Over to the side of the Owls. It's Cohen with eight. Maloney with two, Friedman with six, Mazika with four, Valentino with four, and Kojaman with two. 32-26, 15 minutes of halftime, and we'll be back right here on BaldwinWallaceYellowJacket.com. I'm Spencer Terry. Don't go anywhere. We've got a second half of action of basketball coming up.
dude, totally okay. I don't expect you guys to be. Back on BaldwallsYellowJacket.com for the first game of the season, the season opener and home opener for the Yellow Jackets and the season opener as well for Kenyon. Halftime score 32-26 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. They held on to a six-point lead up as much as eight at one point or nine, excuse me, rather. About 45 seconds left before we get underway in the second half. Take a look at some of the numbers. The first goal, first half Field goal percentage for the Owls, 34%. And 0 of 8 for 3. Not a single 3 made by the Owls. Taking a look at the 3-point shots from the Jackets. 15 threes, 4 made. 2 of those go to Hamilton, 1 to Baskerville. And they shot 41% from the field. 75 from the line, 80 for the Owls. As the Jackets lead. 32-26. Reynolds had the other three ball for the Yellow Jackets. So Kenyon will start off with the ball in the second half at 32, 26, 20 more minutes of basketball is underway. Friedman with it, Mazika, Cohen, Maloney, and Haywood the five for Kenyon, Hamilton, Postello, Richardson, Ellington, and Baskerville, the five for the Jackets. Three ball from Kenyon to start off the half, no good. Rebound goes to the Jackets. Baskerville drives, right-handed layup, no good. Rebound goes to Richardson. Richardson battling down low, shot, no good. One of the foul, didn't get one. Here comes Freeman across the half-court line. 19.25 to go in the second half. Over to Maloney. Two on the night for him. Reset to Freeman on the right wing. Face it to the left wing. Now Cohen shot up. No good, but he's fouled. It looks like it's going to go on Baskerville. We'll wait to see the official call. No, it'll be against Ray Ellington, which if you're Baskerville, you don't mind that. That's Ellington's first. And you avoid picking up your third if you're Baskerville. Baskerville, excuse me. 32-26, 19-17. First free throw for Cohen. In and out. Thirty-two, twenty-six. Already an early foul for the Jackets. Cohen, second free throw. Good. He's got nine. Tied for the high with Hamilton, who's got nine. Baskerville will bring it across. Nineteen, ten to go. In this second half. Baskerville, right now, left corner to Ellington drives. Contact, blocked, but they're going to call a foul. We'll wait to see who was on. Haywood, Mazika, and Cohn are all in the area. It's going to go on Marius Mazika. It'll be his second foul, first of the second half. So Ray Ellington will head to the line. A quiet first half for him, only had two. He had 20 against Cleveland State in that exhibition game. Five-point lead for the Jackets, a chance to make it seven. First shot for Ellington, good. Smooth. Three points for him. So both teams starting off the half with some free throws. Six-point lead, 33-27 for the Jackets, a chance to make it seven. No good. Rebound goes to Mazika. 33-27. Under 19 to go. It's Friedman with it. Looking for Maloney, nothing there. Friedman, corner, Haywood. Back to Friedman, ball was tipped. Maloney drives, almost traveled. Cohen, cross court, down low to Haywood. Battling Pastello, Friedman. Maloney, Mazika, great ball movement. Left corner, three for Mazika, still no good. Still looking for their first three. Rebound goes to Hamilton. Here comes Baskerville on the left side. Baskerville, space. Over to Richardson, Ellington, feeling the hot hand. Right wing, three, no good. Here comes Friedman, two on three in favor of the Jackets. Maloney, left wing three. This one up, 
Good. Finally, Jackson Maloney hits. He's got five, and the lead is cut to three. The first three ball made for the College Owls of Kenyon. Hamilton doubled. Richardson now to the corner to Ellington. Wanted Pastello down low, but they recover quickly. Now they'll go back. The mismatch. Pastello on Freeman. Balls tipped away into the hands of Ellington, and they'll reset to Hamilton. Under 10, Braden Hamilton, crossover, drive, floater, layup, good. Braden Hamilton, he's got 11, and it's a five-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. 17.40 to go in the second half. Maloney, he just hit that first three. Now back to Freeman, who goes back to Maloney. Corner, thought he had Cohen there. No one was, in fact, there. It'll be a turnover by Jackson Maloney, and it'll be Yellow Jacket basketball. Ellington will throw it right back to Baskerville. Five-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Richardson, top of the key. Ellington, Hamilton, drives, right-handed layup, up and under, no good. Rebound, looked like it was going to go to Richardson. It was tipped out of bounds by the smaller Friedman, and it will remain Yellow Jacket basketball. Five-point lead for the Jackets. Hamilton was open in the corner. They'll go to Pastello down low, battling Charlie Haywood. Spin, layup, no good. Rebound goes to Baskerville. Right place, right time. Tried to give it to Pastello. Nothing out of that possession, and it's thrown out of bounds. It'll be Owl basketball. Friedman up court fast to Maloney. Back to Friedman. Friedman stepping back and slowing things down to Cohen in the left corner. Haywood down low. Friedman, Maloney, great ball moving again. Gets open on the right wing. Three ball, no good. Bastello almost out of bounds. Haywood saves it back to Freeman. Fakes, drives, down low. Cohen was open. Thought about throwing it up first before he caught it. And it's out of bounds. Yellow Jacket basketball still with that five-point lead. 35-30, 16-51 left in the second half. Baskerville with it. Guarded closely by Friedman. Stops, had some space, thought about the three, and will pass it up. Richardson hands it off to Ellington. On the right wing with Cohen closely on him. Ellington picks up his dribble, goes into the corner to Richardson. Now to Pastello. Pastello drives. Stops, left baseline, layup, up, just no good. And they'll get the rebound with Friedman with it. Driving. Slowing things down now. Two subs for the Jackets. One for the Owls. Cohen with it. Corner. Maloney. Found some space. Stops at the left baseline just inside the three-point line. Now to Freeman to reset things. Ten on the shot clock. Inside. Ball's tipped. Right to Haywood. Layup is good. Charlie Haywood gets his first points of the game in the second half. It's a three-point lead for the Jackets. 15-54 to go in the second half. Baskerville with it. Baskerville driving, kicking. Ellington thought about the left thing. Three kicks inside. Richardson contact. No good on the layup, but he's fouled. He will go to the line. Two subs for both teams getting ready to check in. And Charlie Haywood will pick up his third foul of the game. So we'll likely see him sit. And Richardson will go to the line for two. He scored two in the first half but then quicked up those quick two fouls. Didn't see much of him late in that second half. First free throw was good, he's got three. Jackson Burke and Moraton Kojaman will check in for the Owls. While on the side of the Jackets, Andrew Griffith will check in. Caden Hudak is getting ready to check in for Richardson. Richardson misses that second free throw, and it's a 36-32 ball game. So Hudak will wait to check in. 15.30 to go in the second half. Four-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Mazika with it. Left side driving, looking down low. Has a man, layup no good. Rebound goes to Kojaman. Mazika, top of the key, three, in and out. Richardson grabs it, but is hit. he's out of bounds when he grabs it. No foul. It looked like there was going to be a foul, so Hudak will check in for Richardson, and it will remain Kenyon basketball. Down four are the Owls with 15-15 left in this second half. Richardson thought he got slapped on the arm. No foul is called. Freeman will inbound for Kenyon. 
Looking down low to Burke. Nothing there. Goes to Maloney on the left corner. Maloney will now reset. Maloney to Friedman. Kojaman now, top of the key. Hand off to Friedman. Had a little bit of space. Thought about the three drives. Kojaman guarded closely by Griffith. Kojaman, spin, up and under. Layup at the buzzer is good. Muraton, Kojaman's got four, and it's a two-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Baskerville with it. Corner. Hamilton now with the right wing will reset things. Oh, my goodness. Drops the defender. Layup. Good. And one. Braden Hamilton gets Maloney on the ground. ESPN, you've got yourself a top 10 clip. My goodness. What a move from Braden Hamilton. He's got 13 with a chance to make it 14. Almost made me get off my feet. Hamilton at the line and... Maloney will check out. Checking in for him will be number 21, Nick Valentino. The and one opportunity for Hamilton, just in and out. So he's got 13. Friedman with it. 38-34 lead, 14-25 to go in the second half. Valentino with it, trying to go down low to Burke. Battling against Hudak one-on-one. -on -one. Two dribbles, layup, left side, good. Beautiful move from Jackson Burke. Those are his first two points of the game. And it's just a two-point lead for the Jackets. Back and forth affair we go. 14 minutes left in this second half. Hamilton, who's had the hot hand pretty much all game. Hand off to Hamilton. Left wing, baseline, drives, kicks. Baskerville wide open in the right corner. No good, just a little too much. Hudak battles for the rebound. They say it was off Kenyon, but the refs say no. It was off the Yellow Jackets. We'll get a timeout two-point lead for the Yellow Jackets and all I can think about is still that beautiful move from Braden Hamilton the little crisscross applesauce to get Maloney onto the ground and driving through tough contact for the and one wasn't able to get the third point of that and one opportunity to go so it's just a two-point lead for the Yellow Jackets up by as much as nine at one point Thirty-eight, thirty-six. Yeah, next game for Baldwin and Wallace will be in PA, taking on the Wayne's Washington and Jesper, Jefferson. I almost said Waynesburg. I used to go to Waynesburg, that's where I went for my four years. And funny enough, Waynesburg's rival is Washington and Jefferson. So, as now a announcer for Baldwin Wallace, I will always root against W and J, no matter where I go. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier in the first half last year, the first game for this Yellow Jacket team was against Washington Jefferson. They beat him 182. A little smile across my face. I'll never see, I'll never, never fail to see, make me smile when I see Washington and Jefferson lose. But we're here today, Yellow Jackets and the Kenyon College Owls. 38-36, Yellow Jackets lead by two. And it will be Kenyon basketball. Friedman across the half court line, over to Kojaman. Valentino looking down low for Burke again, they won't get it to him. Kojaman go to, guarded closely by Griffith, drives, left handed layup, and one, no! They wave it off, they say he traveled. So the two point lead for the Jackets will remain, and it's a turnover on Kenyon. Would have been just their second lead of the night. Baskerville with it. Over to Griffith, now to Hamilton. Gets the screen from Griffith. Corner to Ellington. Baskerville wing. Hudak, Hamilton. Quick fire, left wing three. No good. It's Friedman with it. 13-20 to go in the second half. Top of the key with Cohen. Hand off to Friedman. Thinks about the three. Stops. Down low to Kojaman. Ball is lost. Into the hands of Baskerville. It's Yellow Jacket basketball. 13 minutes left. 38-36 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Baskerville thought about the three, pulled back and waits now. And over to Hudak, Hamilton, screen from Hudak, gets it to Baskerville. Griffith, hand off to Baskerville, driving, great pass, just a teeny bit too high, and Griffith isn't able to keep his hands on it. It'll be a turnover out of bounds 
And it'll be Kenyon basketball. Hamilton will check out. Miles Reynolds, who had that great first half, will check in. He's got six. We'll get a little bit of a quick timeout. Griffith is tying his shoes. Reynolds, who had that great first half, the six points off the bench. They've gotten 10 total points off the bench from Reynolds, Hudak, and Driscoll. Two-point lead still for the Yellow Jackets. 12, 40 left in this second half. Cohen with it. Kojaman now over to Burke, trying to tie this game up. Ball's tipped. Great defense from Caden Hudak. Top of the key, Kojaman over to Friedman now. Friedman drives. Ball stripped. Great defense from Baskerville. 12 20 left in the second half. Corner, Reynolds, three ball, good. No, they say deep two. So a deep two from Miles Reynolds gives him eight. 12 10 left in the second half. A four point lead for the Jackets. Kojima on top of the key, driving on Griffith. Great defense from Andrew Griffith. Cohen drives. Stops, kicks, Kojimon. Thought about the three for half a second. Drive, spin, layup, left-handed, good, no good. In and out, they're going to call a foul, and it's going to go against Kenyon. It was Jackson Burke. That's his second foul of the game, and we'll get a timeout. 40-36, to 36, the two-point lead has grown to a four-point lead with 11.50 to go in this second half. If you were at the football game or you didn't catch the football game, a great win by them today, 27-26 against Ohio Northern. They moved to 6-3. And, and now 5-3 and three in the conference. Must have been a great game for Matt Forjancic and company over there announcing that game. Back-to-back -back wins for that Yellow Jacket football team. They've got one more game on the road at Heidelberg next week. But just across the street from George Finney Stadium here at the Lou Higgins Center, 36-40. The Yellow Jackets lead by four with 11.50 to go in the second half. Game high of 13 goes to Braden Hamilton. He's on the bench. He's had a great game. Nine in the first half, four in the second half so far. Four point lead for the Jackets and here comes Titus Baskerville, the fourth. Ellington drives, one on one, stops. Layup, no good. Foul is called on number 21, Nick Valentino. It'll be his first. And Ellington will head to the line again. Ray Ellington one for two on the afternoon. Chance for two more and a chance to bring the lead back up to six, which is what it was at the half. Ellington's first free throw up. And, oh, oh, oh boy. Rolled off the back iron and hit the front iron and didn't know what it wanted to do. Baskerville checks out, Driscoll checks in. Some substitutions for the Owls. Mazika checks back in as, uh, as well as, excuse me, Haywood. Four points for Ellington. A chance to get his fifth and put the lead up to six. Free throw is good. Six point lead for the Jackets, 11.40 to go in the second half. Friedman with it. Over to Mazika. Now to Haywood at the top of the key. Charlie Haywood over to Cohen. Cohen driving, spin move, right-handed layup. No good, rebound goes to Ellington. Behind the back, almost stripped of a slew of defenders, almost had him, able to keep it alive. Behind the back, Ellington kicks, corner, Driscoll. 
And what a play from Ellington to keep that ball alive that whole time. Took a little hard fell, but he's all right. Reynolds with it. One on one with Maloney. Reynolds drives, stops. Back in, right handed layup, a little floater alert. Miles Reynolds has 10 off the bench and he's having a great game. He had five against Cleveland State and he's got double that here today. 10.48 to go and it's an eight point lead. Cohen with it. Over to Maloney, almost stripped by Caden Hudak. Maloney. Hudak, great defense still, five on the shot clock. Friedman got to do something with it, step back. Great defense still, Cohen, two, one, step back, no good. Rebound goes to, no, it was in the hands of the Yellow Jackets and fell right back into the hands of Charlie Haywood. Elite has cut the six, it's 44-38, 10-15 to go in the second half. Reynolds, Griffith, now to Ellington. Ellington drives, stops, kicks, Driscoll had a little bit of space on the left wing, passed it up. Reynolds, pass to Griffith, three ball, contested, in and out. Rebound goes to Friedman. 9.50 to go, Lucas Friedman with it, it's a six point lead for the Jackets. And it's now Jackson Maloney with it. Over to Haywood. Haywood goes to Friedman, Friedman drives, kicks, Haywood, great layup and a great foul. Reynolds didn't think he got him, it looked like a lot of contact from here. It'll be Miles Reynolds' first foul. And Charlie Haywood will go to the line. Quiet in the first half was the starter of Charlie Haywood. Scored four here in the second half, a chance to make it six, and a chance to cut the lead to four. First free throw up, off the back iron, and no good. So it's a six-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Haywood has a chance to cut it to five. His first free throw of the day was no good. Second one is up, off the back iron, no good. Rebound goes back to Haywood though. A three ball at the top of the key, good! Justin Gagnon who just checked in and hits a big three and cuts the lead to three. A crucial mistake by the Yellow Jackets. Ellington drives, floater, no, hits it off to Griffith at the last second, spin move, beautiful move. Layup is no good, Haywood gets the rebound. 44-41 with 9-10 to go. Three-point lead for the Jackets. Great defense from Driscoll, almost able to get Gagnon to fall out of bounds. Gagnon, excuse me. Nine minutes left on the second half clock. 44-41. Maloney with it, drives, kicks, Gagnon. Left wing has Driscoll closely on him. Five on the shot clock, Mazika's got to do something with it. On the right wing, drives right baseline, just throws up anything, and it's no good. Reynolds with it. Four on one, Reynolds still pushing. Reynolds, layup, no good, but... Drew the contact and he will head to the line for two. And what a game Miles Reynolds is having off the bench. We'll wait to see who that foul was on. They're gonna give it to Geffen Bar Cohen. That is his first of the afternoon. Reynolds first free throw up and good. He's got 11, he hit the, or not hit, excuse me, he went to the line earlier in the first half, he got fouled on that three point attempt, made two, missed the last one. Three for four already, makes this one, he's four for five and does. He's got 12, 25 points between Hamilton and Reynolds, and it is back to a five point lead, 46-41. Gagnon gets it across the half court line and it's Maloney now with it in the corner. Picks up his dribble, has Reynolds closely on him. Over to the wing. Mazika, top of the key. Ellington, who's played heavy minutes in the second half, closely on Mazika. Mazika trying to battle down low. Mazika, great defense, hands up, and a great rebound. Saves it over to Driscoll. It's a five point lead. 8 10 left in this second half. Driscoll with it now. Driscoll, Griffith, Ellington has some space on the left wing. Three ball, bang! Bray Ellington, and that's a timeout from Kenyon, an eight point lead with 8.01 to go. Ellington's first three of the afternoon. He had four against Cleveland State and quickly six points for Ray Ellington. Eight point lead for the Yellow Jackets. 
49-41, 8 one to go. And if you're a Kenyan fan after today, you are home at your home opener, which will be this coming Wednesday against Capital University. But the Baldwin Wallace schedule for the men's basketball team, again, they travel to Washington and Jefferson to play the Presidents. And then after that, a few days later, they'll go back to PA to play the Geneva Golden Tornadoes. No, they will They will first travel to Indiana, excuse me, on the 15th to play Trine. And then on the 20th of November, they will travel back to Geneva to play the Golden Tornadoes. And after that, conference play begins with Ohio Northern. Again, last year, 3-15 and 15 in conference play, 6-19 and 19 overall. Kenyon basketball, eight-point deficit for the Owls with under eight to go in the second half. Driscoll closely guarding Freeman. Freeman picks up his dribble. The five clock has started, and he gets it away to Mazika. Battling down low against Ellington. Mazika fakes, fakes again. Layup up, no good. Rebound goes to Ellington. They're going to get a foul against Kenyon. Haywood and Mazika were down there. We'll wait to see who it was on. It looks like they're going to give it to Mazika. That is Maurice Mazika's third foul. And already in the bonus with eight minutes to go practically in this second half is Andrew Griffith with the one and one opportunity. No points for Griffith today. Free throw is up and good. Nails it. So now up to a nine point lead. Ties the highest it's been all afternoon. A second make of a free throw here would be the biggest lead of the night for the Yellow Jackets. Second free throw, good. 10 point lead for the Jackets, the highest today. 51-41 with 7.35 to go in this second half. Friedman over to Haywood. If you're Kenyon, you've got to go now. Haywood over to Friedman, drives on Ellington. Screen from Haywood, a great cut back door. A great block from Ray Ellington, but stripped right back to Haywood. Reverse layup, fouled, he'll go to the line. The foul will be against Andrew Griffith. It'll be his second. No, it'll be his third, excuse me. So a great block from Ray Ellington, but ball is shook from behind. It looked like by Mazika. And Haywood will go to the line, misses the first. He's 0 for 2 from the line already in this half end today. That makes him 0 for 3. A chance to cut the lead to 9. Haywood, free throw, no good. 0 for 4 from the line. And the rebound goes to Postello. Ellington played this whole second half so far. One-on-one -on -one coverage at the top of the left wing. Oh my goodness, step back three, in and out from Ray Ellington. Had the entire Yellow Jacket bench standing up. Here come the Owls. Friedman, stop at the free throw line, jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Griffith. 51-41, 6.45 to go. Driscoll with it. Driscoll waiting for Tom Heil to call out some plays. Driscoll now over to Ellington. Left wing. Now to Reynolds. Back to Ellington. It has seven on the clock. Ellington drives. Layup on the right hand. Good. Beautiful touch from Ray Ellington. He's up to 10. And it's a 12-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. 53-41 with 6.15 to go here in the second half. Maloney with it. And off goes to Maloney. Has Reynolds closely on him. Freeman at the top of the key. Five on the shot clock for Freeman. Corner. Burke. Three ball. Good. Jackson Burke. A huge bucket. He's got five in this second half. Keeping the Owls closely in this game. A nine point lead for Baldwin Wallace. Driscoll. Ball out of bounds. Great defense from Freeman. And just like that. 
It's a nine point game and the Owls get the ball back. We'll get a timeout, Kenyon, 53-44, 5.44 to go in the second half. The story of the second half on the side of Baldwin-Wallace, the star Ray Ellington had two in the first and has eight second half points. Hamilton's with four in the second half. Richardson has one, Griffith has two. Reynolds has six. Hudek has two from the first half and Driscoll's got two from the first half. Reynolds with 12 off the bench. 35 points combined between Ray Ellington, Braden Hamilton, and Miles Reynolds. Over to the side of the Owls, the leading scorer still being Cohen with nine. Friedman's got six all in the first half. Maloney's got five. Haywood's got four. Burke's got five. Valentino with four. Mazika with four. And Kojaman with four, two in each half. Buzzer sounds. Refs will walk to each side to grab the teams. Fifty-three, forty-four. If the Yellow Jackets win today, both the football team and the basketball team would have won. Great day to be a Yellow Jackets. So it'll be Kenyon basketball after the three-ball hit by Jackson Burke to cut the deficit from twelve to nine. And now it's Friedman, Baskerville closely on him. He's got three. No, he has two fouls. Excuse me, Friedman with it. 5.30 left, Maloney, left wing three, throws it up, looked good, no good though. Richardson grabs the rebound. And here comes Baskerville, the fourth. Hamilton back in the game. Step back, between the leg three, good. Braden Hamilton, have yourself a day. He's up to 16 points in the lead, is right back up to 12. 56-44 with five minutes left. In this second half, backdoor cut by Burke. One-handed slam. Jackson Burke backdoor cut. He's had a big second half with seven. Down 11 are the Owls, under five to go in the second half. Baskerville, Richardson. Now to Ellington. That eight-point second half throws up a three on the right wing. Had some space, and that drops. And Ray Ellington is up to 13. That's his second three of the half. 13-point lead. For the Yellow Jackets, 4.30 to go in the second half. Cohen, drive, spin move on Pastello, layup, up, no good, but he's fouled by A.J. Pastello. That'll be Pastello's second of the afternoon. So to cut the lead to 11 is Geffen Bar Cohen. Braden Hamilton, two threes in the first half and one here in the second half. First free throw for Bar Cohen is good. He is the first man to score double digits for this Kenyan Owls team. Second one is good, he's got 11. Lead is cut to 11, 59-48 with 4.30 to go in the second half. Starting five in for the Jackets, Hamilton. Right wing, wanted a three. Hands off to Baskerville. Baskerville, top of the key. Baskerville drives, left-handed layup, no good. They are gonna call foul last minute. Steve Phillips doesn't agree with it. In his second season for Kenyon, last season, five and 21 for the Kenyon College Owls. Foul will go against Valentino. That'll be his second. And Baskerville will head to the line. At five in the first half, the quick five was silent ever since until now. It gives him his sixth point and makes the lead back up to 12 with 4.12 to go. A chance to bring the lead back up to 13, the highest it's been all day, and it's good. Baskerville's got seven, and the lead is 13. 4.05 left in the second half. Friedman with it. Over to Mazika. 
Burke, he's had a big second half, stops, layup, no good. Pastello grabs the rebound and now it's Baskerville with it. Baskerville on the left wing, top of the key, Pastello. Not a Richardson, here comes the screen for Hamilton. Top of the key, had a little bit of space, wants it. Hamilton, left wing three, contested, three ball. Just off the front iron, Pastello fighting for the rebound, grabs it and goes to Ellington. Ellington drives down the lane, contact, no good on the layup. Still in possession of the basketball, the Yellow Jackets. Rebound goes to Hamilton in the left corner. He drives, kicks, Pastello drives. Ball is finally lost and picked up by the Owls with 3.20 to go in the second half. Freeman drives, ball stripped. Two on one in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Ellington all the way, foul, and one. Ray Ellington delivering the dagger for the Yellow Jackets giving him 15 points, a chance to tie Hamilton with 16. An all around great performance on the day, both offensively and defensively. Foul will go against number 22, Jackson Burke, his third, and we'll get a timeout by the Yellow Jackets. 63-48 the lead, up to 15. The largest has been in a chance to make it a lead of 16. Hamilton was 16, Ellington a huge second half. He's got 13 after just scoring two in the first half. And he's got a chance to add on to that to a total of 14 second half points on the line for Ellington with the in one opportunity. 63-48. Again, the next game for this Yellow Jacket team. They'll travel to Trine. And from there, we'll travel to Washington and Jefferson. Or excuse me, they'll travel to Washington and Jefferson first, then to Trine, back to PA for Geneva. 63-48 with 3.11 left here in the home opener and season opener for Bolton Wallace Yellow Jacket basketball. You can catch me back on the 31st of December when the Yellow Jackets take on Pitt Greensburg. Yellow Jackets back on the court. Ellington getting ready to shoot his free throws. Kenyon will take their time down 15 with 3.11 to go. Starters out for the Yellow Jackets and all four starters in for the Owls except for one. Haywood is not out there. The end one opportunity for Ray Ellington. No good off the left side of the rim. So give him 15 points total. 31 points between him and Hamilton. Under three to go in the second half. Burke with it. Driving on Richardson. Stopped. Mazika top of the key over to Friedman. Now to Cohen. Down low. Fakes. Has a guy open in the corner. It's Burke. Hit one three already in the second, the first second half. Give him another. Ten second half perts, points for Jackson Burke, and he has been huge in trying to keep this Owl team close. 2.35 to go in the second half. Baskerville with it. Drives. Slows down now, trying to work on Freeman down low. Go to Ellington. Ellington, he's had the second half hot hand. Drives. Bumps. Fade away. No good. He wanted the foul. He didn't get it. 2.15 to go, up 12 are the Jackets. Inside to Cohen. Trying to find Burke with the hot hand for the Owls. Cohen with it. Blocked by Pastello. Cohen tried the old Dirk fadeaway and nothing was there. A.J. Pastello able to block him. Andrew Griffith will get ready to check in for Isaac Richardson. So it'll be Freeman inbound with 2.04 to go, down 12. Burke, screen, set, inbound goes to Burke. He's got 10 second half points. Two minutes left on the clock, spin. Now out to Mazika. Right wing, down low to Cohen. 
three, two on the shot clock. Floater, no good. Rebound goes to Mazika, able to keep it alive. Maloney, free on the right wing. Three ball is good. Timeout, and Jackson Maloney, he's got his second three of the half. He's up to eight, and the lead is cut to nine now with a minute 43 to go in the second half. The lead has been with the Yellow Jackets almost the entire game. There was a lead for the Owls early in the first half, but other than that, it's been all ball to Wallace. One forty-three left on the clock, 63-54. If you're a Cleveland fan, Cavaliers play tonight, 7-30, 10-0, only undefeated team in the NBA. And we mentioned earlier, Baltimore Wallace football finished up just a little bit ago. The 130 game that finished shortly before this game started. 27 26 victory in favor of the Yellow Jackets. They moved to 6 and 3 and 5 and 3 in the conference. 15 points for Ray Ellington, who only had two in the first half. He's got 13 second half points. Hamilton has 16 to go along with three threes. Bakersville's got seven, or Baskerville, excuse me, has seven. Pastillo had four first half points and that's all we've seen from him. Richardson with three, Griffith with two. Miles Reynolds, the big man off the bench, had 12 and Hudak and Driscoll combined for four. On the side of the Owls, it's four points for Haywood, 11 for Cohen. Maloney's got eight with two threes. Six for Friedman, Gagnon has three. Four for Mazika, four for Valentino. 10 for Jackson Burke, who has scored all of those 10 in the second half, along with two threes and four points for Kojimak. So the Jackets will bring it out with a press formed against them by the Owls. Ellington, got to get it in, does, gets it to Baskerville. Baskerville over to Ellington. Plenty of time to break the press, and now the press releases a little bit. Baskerville spin move on Maloney. A minute 30 left on the clock. Baskerville with it. Just got to play smart basketball here if you're the Yellow Jackets. A minute 25 on the clock. Ellington drives. Stops and is fouled by Friedman. That'll be his second. Ellington will go to the line. Two shots no matter what. They're in the double bonus. A chance to bring the lead back up to 11. Ellington's first free throw up and good. Give him 16 points on the night. So he's tied with Hamilton for 16 apiece. Reynolds has got 12. Second free throw, no good. So Hamilton and Reynolds, or and Ellington, will, excuse me, will remain tied. 64 54, 10 point lead with a minute 15 to go. Burke just gonna throw up a top of the key three, no good. Rebound goes to Ellington, still with it. Almost traveled, Kenyon wanted an over the back. They don't get it. And Maloney will foul Baskerville. The way it's looking like to form, the Yellow Jackets will start the season off with a win and will move to one and oh. A season opener and home opener for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. Didn't get one last year. They get one this year. Their home opener last year was against Geneva. They lost 78-77. So you come back this year in your home opener after Baskerville hits the first one, misses the second one, and he gets his own rebound. That sums up the game right there. Baskerville gets the rebound. We'll get a official timeout. I think the clock maybe wasn't moving, but... Baskerville, who has eight, misses his second free throw. Reynolds will check in for Pastello. So there was 25 on the shot clock. They move it to 15. 58 seconds left. 65, 54, an 11 point lead for the Yellow Jackets, who lost their home opener by one point to Geneva last year. Still some discussions from the Officials will wait to see 
like I said, the shot clock after the missed free throw was at 25. They set it after the timeout, or the, the pause, excuse me, to 15. There's a little more talking, and we don't see any changes. Hamilton to inbound. Gets it over to a wide open Baskerville. Almost loses it. Has to throw it out and throws it out of bounds on Jackson Burke. He kind of fell out of bounds and smartly threw it off Burke. 55 seconds left, 12 on the shot clock. 11 point lead for the Jackets. Hamilton to inbound, gets it to Ellington. Ellington with it, down low, wide open Griffith. Great pump fake, just trying to waste time. Gets it to Reynolds. Three on the shot clock, they gotta do something with it. Miles Reynolds, one handed, three point from the right wing, no good. And Tom Heil just kind of smiles and said, you gotta throw up something. And Reynolds will sub out. Pastella will sub back in for the sake of rebounds. 42 seconds left on the clock. An 11-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Baskerville will come up close to Friedman. Almost gets the steal. Friedman driving, stops, kicks to Maloney. He's got eight. Driving, left lane, layup, no good. They'll call a foul. It'll be against Hamilton. And that will be his first of the day. Team's fifth foul. Kenyon will go to the line. Hamilton has a chance to reach double digits. Or Maloney, excuse me, has a, reach, a chance to reach double digits. He had two threes in the second half. First free throw of the day from him is good. He's got nine. 32.6 left on the game clock. So if you're the, uh, if you're, excuse me, if you're the Yellow Jackets, you can pretty much dribble this clock out. You probably won't even see them shoot a uh, shot. Maloney's second shot is good. He'll finish with 10, most likely. Inbound goes to Baskerville. Trying to break the press. Baskerville with it. Over to Griffith, over to Ellington. He will just hold. They're going to call an offensive foul. Ellington, the old offensive arm hook on Ray Ellington. That'll be his second. with 19.6 to go, 65-56, a nine-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Inbound goes to Friedman with 15 on the clock. Down low to Burke, layup, good. Burke's got 12 second-half points. Here comes the press, and they will foul Baskerville, and he will head back to the line. A chance to get him into double digits. Reynolds is in double digits, Hamilton and Ellington all in double digits. And now a chance for Baskerville to get into double digits. Three for four from the line today. With 11.3 left on the clock. A seven point lead for the Yellow Jackets. All but quiet here in the Lou Higgins Center. First free throw from Baskerville up and drops. Give him nine. The fourth player to reach double digits. Titus Baskerville, the fourth. He's got 10, and it's a nine-point lead for the Yellow Jackets. 67-58, five on the clock. Friedman just throws up a three and is fouled on the three-point attempt by Titus Baskerville. That'll be his third of the day. Got those quick two in the first half and has been good otherwise up until now. So Friedman who hasn't scored at all in this second half will go to the line for three. First one's no good. He's two for two of the line already today. That will be make it two for three, excuse me. He was two for two in the first half. Second one is good for Friedman. He's got seven. Friedman, lay it, free throw up, good, he's got eight. Inbound goes to Baskerville. He'll likely just hold for the last three seconds, two, one. Your Yellow Jackets win the home opener and season opener, 67 to 60, beating the Kenyan College Owls. Ray Ellington, who had a quiet first half with only two, finishes the game with 16 points, a 14 point second half. Hamilton, 16, he had the hot hand throughout the entire game. Bakers, Vaskerville, excuse me, he finishes with 10. Pastello finishes with four. Richardson finishes with three. Andrew Griffith finishes with two. 
Miles Reynolds off the bench finishes with 12. Hudak and Driscoll combined for four off the bench. So 16 bench points tonight and on the side of the College Owls, four points for Haywood. 11 for Cohen, 10 for Maloney, eight for Friedman. Gagnon has three, Mazika with four, Valentino with four, Burke 12 points all in the second half, and four for Muratan Kojaman. Your final here from the Lou Higgins seven Center, 67-60. Your Yellow Jackets get the home opener win. Signing off, my name is Spencer Vitari, and we'll see you next time. Have a great night.